In this movie, we're going to briefly recap on the various operators that we've learnt throughout this chapter. First of all, we learnt the arithmetic operators addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulo. Then we learnt the numeric comparison operators that was the equality operator, the lesser than operator, the greater than operator, the lesser than or equal operator, greater than or equal operator, not equals, and the null safe equality operator, which allows for comparing values to null values. The string comparison operators we looked at were the equality operator and the like operator. The like operator included two wildcards, first of which was the underscore symbol, which allowed for a wildcard that could stand for any one single character, and a percent symbol, which when used with the like operator could stand for any number of characters. The logical operators, we learnt two different ways of spelling the AND logical operator, the OR logical operator and the NOT logical operator. We also touched very briefly on the bitwise operators. Once again, knowledge of these is not essential, but I'm including them for the sake of completeness. Bitwise AND, bitwise OR, bitwise left and right shifts. Finally we looked at regular expressions. The reg regular expression operator is REGEXP and a synonym for that is R like can be used interchangeably. We can use this symbol to lock the pattern to the beginning of the string and this symbol when used at the end locks the pattern to the end of the string. This symbol works like logical OR when used within a regular expression to match either one of the patterns either side of the this particular symbol. These square brackets define a character set. When we use a hyphen within the square brackets we're specifying a range such as alphabetical characters and we can use this symbol when we use it within the square brackets it specifies that whatever character comes after it is not allowed as one of those characters that the character set is standing for. We can use this to specify the number of repeats. If we use a comma within the curly brackets then we can specify an upper and lower limit to the number of times that the character set or character or wildcard is to be repeated. If we use the curly brackets without two values and a comma, then we specify the exact number of repetitions that we're expecting for this pattern to evaluate true. Using the rounded brackets, we can enclose a sequence of characters, which we can then specify a number for using the curly brackets or using the other operators that specify a particular number such as the plus symbol which allows the sequence or single character that occurs just before it to occur one or more times or the asterisk which allows the single character to appear zero or more times. This dot stands for any character it stands for a wildcard when used within a regular expression Finally, the backslash allows us to escape any of the special characters listed above. That's the end of this chapter, and I hope that there's, if there's anything in this syntax recap that you don't understand, that you go back and look at the movies where the meanings of all these operators are explained. Once again, with the exception of the bitwise operators, which is not really necessary to understand for normal database 